This is number four. This will be a quick interview. Industrial athletes is our moniker for what many people call blue collar workers, warehouse workers, anyone who puts their body on the line every day for their job. I grew up working my family construction company. My father passed away on the job. So instead of running that business, I went off to college and for the last eight years, I've been trying to force innovation into the space. How can human centered design impact the day to day workflows of an industrial athlete? We want uh, the backbone of our society, the people who make our lives easier. We want them to go home without an injury. And that's where we try and focus our, our roles to keep those industrial athletes proud, protected, and productive. Strongarm does that by creating wearable technology that measures body movements, environmental risks, and proximity data to proactively prevent workplace injuries. It's this emerging industry that we have a pretty cool opportunity to kind of set industry standards for. It allows, right now, giving environmental health and safety professionals a seat at the decision-making table. We tell our clients, if you can measure it, you can manage it. But right now, you're not measuring the most sensitive and integral piece of the entire Industry 4.0 or supply chain, which is the human being. And with that, the data team needs to become incredibly articulate around the values that are provided. Data is sort of our foundational product, so it's really the most important thing that we have here at Strongarm in terms of being able to deliver value to our clients. No one is actually doing what we are doing, right? It's basically trying to gather data from the body movement to understand how safety looks or how unsafe looks. We collect data over 12 and a half times a second for every athlete for every day, and that's across uh, several dozen da different data points. So for any given athlete, we're collecting uh, gigabytes of data per day. Having the world's largest industrial wearable safety data set is a massive opportunity for us. Um, it's, also a, it's also a challenge. One of the like, parts of the product that the company is working on is the wearability of the sensor. The more wearable it is, the more difficult it is to extract safety. The way that our system is designed today, it's very much based on position data. And so the relative position of the sensor on the body is very important. We can see what we can see, right? We have the, the, the wearable sensor, which is providing us with a lot of information about the individual motion within the facility and trends by time of day or trends between shifts and tenure, et cetera. Uh, but then the, that second layer of data or third, you know, however many data sets we're able to get access to can then kind of fill out the picture even more. And those tools are helping our clients dissect their day-to-day -day operations and no longer base it on punitive throughput metrics, but rather base it on the physiology of the human being. We achieved upwards of 60% reduction in ergonomic injuries, so manual material handling injuries, and those are injuries that are related to repetitive motion, strains, sprains, things that happen when you're bending and twisting your body a lot and overexerting it for a long period of time uh, within our first year of deployment. And we have managed to sustain equally as significant and positive results since. We really have passed a threshold where this technology is validated and the appetite for the market for a solution like ours has really increased. It's, it's past the point of a curiosity and now major companies are serious about implementing. We are 70 people in Brooklyn and we're servicing organizations that employ a million industrial athletes. So we need a lot of firepower to be able to keep up with that level of scale. You know, if we have a nascent idea or something that we're investigating or collaborating on with a client that we want to prove out in a really small way before investing in a, a much broader scale build out, we're able to do that within a Databricks environment and work really fluidly and with a lot of agility between different teams. When the data science team develops a prototype of an algorithm, it's super easy for our data engineering team to, you know, take that off our plate and create a data pipeline using this algorithm much easier and much faster. 
because we share the same code base. You know, Databricks helps us do that and it helps us provide those insights, deliver value and create new innovations that's really going to change you know, worker safety and, and move the ball forward. I am really excited about the future of Strongarm technology and our ability to expand our impact on the health and safety of industrial athletes worldwide.